Hello campers. We have dove into the axle here. And if you weren't up to speed on this, I'm gonna insert a little clip. Me and Angie had a eventful anniversary to say the least. So I'll insert the clip here to catch you up. Okay, so we have good friends show up and help us out. Thank goodness. Thank goodness we have good <laughs> friends in, in a lot of places. Our buddy Matt. Came and uh, oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure the wheel bearing's done. Look at the pile, oh. and from the heat, oh. wheel cylinder exploded. Wow, wow. So yeah, now we wait on the tow truck. And thank you, Matt. We appreciate yes. you so I, much. You know. <laughs> And as you can see, wheel bearing went out and the brake rotor, well, brake drum, sorry, not brake rotor, brake drum is absolutely cooked. What happened was we were coming to Knoxville from cruising the coast and I had to hit the brakes harder than I ever have driving this thing. And the rear end made two loud clunks when I did that. I had to panic stop this thing. And I'm not sure what happened, but uh, that shoe looks like it went out a little further than it should. And then if you look down inside, let me get the light. You can see the bearings laying in there let's get the camera here where you can see it there they are they're all laying in there uh thankfully it didn't eat into the housing itself we uh pulled over before it got that far but we're guessing it's the original bearings in this thing um, and yes, it did have fluid in the rear end. I know everybody was commenting saying I ran it out of oil, but no, we actually checked that before we left. See all the nice little RTV smashed in there. It was on the correct level of oil. I think it was just that bearings time and I think the brake helped it. But, uh, we're going to do both sides while we're here and... This bearing seems fine, but I can feel just a little bit right there. So we're going to go ahead and replace both axle shafts and bearings while we're at it. And just because we want to get crazy, we might actually put disc brakes on the back and get rid of these drums. So y'all hang on for that. We're going to... Uh, give Summit and Speedway and give them a call and we're going to see if we can get some parts here. <laughs> that is just funny. That's all I can do. Okay. You want me to pull on the rag? Yeah. I can't do any more. I got to water up. Mix the water up. Okay. Let me pull harder on this rag. Okay. So you saw us using the rag to clean out. Let's uh, shine a little light on the subject here. We cleaned out the axle tube and no, it's not surgical clean, but we sprayed it with brake clean and ran two rags through it, as you can see. And yes, it pulled out of a lot of uh, yummy goodness. And just remember, Everything that glitters is not gold. But the second rag came out a heck of a lot cleaner than the first one did. And like I say, I can get the camera here where we can see. It looks pretty good. And thankfully, it didn't tear up the top. You know, the bearing didn't, uh, I mean, the axle shaft didn't eat past the race, which, Getting the race out. Let's see. Well, first, 
we had to take the seal. The seal came out with the handy dandy little hobo freight seal puller. That wasn't a big deal. The race was, uh, shall we say, a little more in there. Uh, we took ye old Dremel tool and made two slits in it. And made two little cuts here and took a coal chisel and basically even broke the corner of my chisel off. It races are really hard in case you haven't really figured that out. And uh, busted the center out of it and then it came out pretty easy. But uh, yeah, there was lots and lots of carnage inside and lots of yummy goodness came out of the axle tube there. That's what's left of the fairings. So on my little ordering spree, I ordered two new axle shafts, new bearings and seals, and ordered a disc brake conversion. Because, let's see, that backing plate has been eight on like you took a four-inch grinder to it. And this drum has been heat treated uh, beyond any method that I know of. Um... And if y'all remember from Power Tour, this drum was the one that had the weights on it and that I had to grind down in the parking lot to get the wheel to stop wobbling when we made it all the way to Atlanta. And funny enough, everybody swore up and down when I said I had a wheel bearing go out. They swore up and down it would be this one because the wheel was wobbling, they swore up and they would have bet their lunch money that the wobbling wheel took the wheel bearing out, but nope. Now, this one's not perfect, don't get me wrong, but it still rolls just fine. So, yeah, it wasn't the, it wasn't the wheel bearing that everybody thought it was. It wasn't the one I... I wouldn't plan on any of them going out. But anyway... Um, we're going to get into, we're going to show you how I found what rear end we had. Oh yeah. I took a break from working on Hot Mess Express. I did drive it in and out of the garage to get see it up on the lift. So that was definitely an improvement. Okay. So we're going to go start off with the 10 bolt identification. See, ours doesn't have the little ears like that. And this one, this indication goes over and shows what all different ones, but it didn't have what I needed. So I started going, found Nova Resource here. NovaResource.org Axel HTM. Okay. This website, I know, I don't imagine anybody's really working on a, Nova 10 bolt rear end. But if you are, this website has the information you need. And you see right there, it gives you a 68 to 79, that B measurement from the back of the backing plate to the back of the backing plate right there is 53 and a quarter. And that's what mine measured. I was like, okay. Now, which one of these did I have? Well, the rear end I have has the little tabs on the bottom, like this one. I was like, okay, do I have the 8.5 or the 7.5? So what I did was I found another website. This one is Crankshaft Coalition Wiki Rear End Identification, okay? This one's handy. It goes through a whole bunch of rear ends. It doesn't do just GM. It, it goes through all kinds of them, but if you scroll down, and it'll get to the General Motors here, and of course it's got that same picture from the Nova Resource, but here is the part that got me, the 10 bolt ID tips, okay? If you measure the distance between the very bottom bolt on the cover and the next adjacent bolt, 
either right or left. So going one way or the other, doesn't matter. It will be three and three quarters inches for an 8.5 rear end and three and a quarter for a 7.5. And I was like, okay, that's easy enough to check. So I went and checked and I have the three and a quarter, not three and three quarter. So I was like, okay, I have a 7.5 rear end. So I go back to my little Nova resource. And if you roll down on here, it's got all kinds of stuff on this website, y'all. Like I say, if you're working on a Nova rear end, this, this one's going to help you. But it starts going into ring gear size. You know, it goes by years, and you keep rolling. And I kept looking for a 7.5. Kept going, kept going. And we're going further and going further. And then all of a sudden, I got to a 76. And I was like, okay, 76, it's got 7.5, 7.5, 7.5, and 7.5. But I have a 273 gear ratio. So that makes it a 76, 77, or 78, because 79, they didn't have a 273 ratio. So it's one of those years. So what I did was basically went on my little Napa link and ordered bearings and seals for a 77 Nova. And before I did, I actually checked the measurements. I used my little dial calipers over here. Take them and you can, you know, measuring in where the bearing goes. And of course you could measure the bearing too, but it's cut, so it's probably not accurate. But I measured that and then that way I checked it against the dimensions that were on the Napa website for my bearing. So that way I determined I was ordering the right wheel bearings and seals and when I went to order, let's see, got that. Went over the mounts. Yeah, and it tells you what size the bolts are. I mean, if you got questions, this is, this, like I said, that little website right there. Yeah, that is a, is a great resource. But when I went to order the disc brakes, I'll tell you all this. Ordering the disc brake conversion kit, it asked what the center to center distance was on the bolts here. And basically it's about, let me see if I can hold it straight in one hand, to get it right. About three, yeah, three 125. So I basically just went and got the kit, conversion kit that comes with a backing plate that'll fit that bolt pattern right there. And I'm pretty sure that bolt pattern's the same on a GM on a car 12 volt or 10 volt. So I'm making correct me wrong if I'm in the comments if a 12 volt's different. I know there were some different sizes, but I think it was either three and an eighth or three and three eighths. That was the two choices you had for GM. And the trucks, I don't know. I'd have to measure the trucks. I'm pretty sure the trucks are a square pattern where this looks, the bottom looks closer together than the top does. I'm pretty sure the trucks are perfectly square. I don't know. That'll have to check. I got a couple of rear ends laying up back. I could look at that. But yeah, you can... See all the way through. But yeah, we're going to hopefully tomorrow get parts in and put this back together. And yeah, I'm still by impressed by how much heat that brake drum took. I'd like to know the temper on that about now. I, I can probably hit it with that ball-peen hammer right there and shatter it, but... um. 
Yeah. So we cleaned it out and I'm gonna break clean the center section. And mate, when I pull the other bearing out, I'm probably gonna do the other axle tube with the little rag trick too. We're probably gonna clean it out. Like I say, the other axle shaft wasn't that bad. But when an axle shaft is a hundred bucks and just knowing my luck, yeah, I'll take the, I'll, I'll chance the hundred bucks. <clears throat> Tow truck was way more than a hundred bucks, so. And I think before power tour, we're probably gonna get some new shocks. Cause yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna be riding a long ways, so. Okay, well, hopefully tomorrow we're gonna get some parts and we will finish this thing. But today I'm gonna go back to working on Hot Mess Express here. And how we end all our videos. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for today.